UK Ghana Investment Summit be a so. Na UK Ghana Chamber of Commerce and a D Jumedia T say as she says so. Jumedia Nasano, His Excellency Nanadu Danko Kufuadu Ghana Mampeny, had ya two bed running in and him say, Ghana, ye be up no kakraka at all, I'm my a dreadi four and woman woman sem a wobe. Na said a gana yen si kasem no esitieno, and ni ma et dana kwemwa, so man fu e fra says wamu di sika, e bi be bi nyuma e wom mema e bit mia bwa, ama won kuma aton yem isan se Ghana sasan e ya sasi fugu emre pa. Na bibia wamu di sika de ebe sheso. E wo gana sa si subiana. Ebe bo. Hama wamu e chaso aba. Oma mpenyi e kasana. E nwo che se. E ba gana ha. Gana fo e tike mima minke bi a memu a se. E na e no e tiko dan soa. A bano e wo nshishe pa wo diye guwa kwen mwa. Tu mini ye bubu mu totu totu nka kran kakra. Na obia e dini diye e ye juma. Over the past 15 months in office. We have set about putting in place the measures. Needed to reduce the cost of doing business and improve the business environment. We have began to act on the fundamentals of our economy, which in recent years has been in considerable disarray. Our actions have resulted in the growing stability of the macroeconomy and the CD, reduction in inflation, and an abolition of nuisance taxes, whose aim is to shift the focus of the economy from taxation to production. And thus, notifying the business community in the United Kingdom to take advantage of the growing business-friendly climate in the country to invest in Ghana. Our flagship policies captured by the slogans of one district, one factory, one village, one dam, and the program for planting for food and jobs map out areas of opportunity which I commend to you is that doing the areas areas in the development of renewable energy and ICT growth. There are several projects in roads, water transport, industry, manufacturing, agriculture, petroleum and gas, renewable energy, the exploitation of our mineral wealth of bauxite, iron ore and gold, and the ICT sector amongst others, which are being structured to attract private sector financing. The rule of law in Ghana is not a slogan, but an operating principle of state development. We want to participate in the global marketplace, not on the basis of the exports of raw materials, but on the basis of things we make. We want to bring greater dignity to the lives of millions of people in Ghana. We want to build a Ghana beyond aid. And I'm expectant that this summit will help facilitate partnerships between Ghanaian and British companies and create the common platform that generates ideas and nurtures them into success. It is my hope that exchanges of this sort will enable the strong relations between Ghana and the United Kingdom to grow even stronger.